Just like that. And that's it, just like this. This is Dennis and his wonderful heaven, his farm. Trying to do the twilling, try to get the um the pollinate. And this is almost like what, um eleven o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, normally I do it around eight eight o'clock in the morning. Early in the morning is better before it gets too hot. Okay. But I've already twirled these ones this morning. <laughs> but then do you go all the way to the bottom or do you oh, can't see, like that um, one's no good. So you can't uh, like um kinda like um all the way push you can it. See the see the pollen on the end there? Yeah, you? I see them. Okay. And it's, it's all you do is you're going in and you you feel the bottom and just lift it a little fraction so you're not spinning it on the French and that's it. Ah. So then the pollen's off, it's gone. It's oh, gone. okay. So basically that pollen that we see they probably stuck into the um um, another type of flower, so that's how you get po cross pollinate and yes. um, normally, normally I, I do it. So how success they are? This, uh, like hundred percent, oh, no, maybe this, like this a may, twenty percent. This, this may be five to ten percent. Okay. What I do, I do this because I want to find out when the flower is fertile. Okay. Because they all vary; they're all different. They all are fertile at different times of the year. Okay. By spinning, I find out when the fl flat flower will set a pod. And I re register that date, okay. and then the next year, I open it up and do a full cross-pollination. Okay, this one is performing the meringue cross-pollinate. What you do is you come to the base of the flower here, it's a peduncle, and you cut down on an angle into the peduncle. Then I just come up here, and take the top off the flower, Put it down here. <laughs> I know it's it kind of like it's, yeah, you have to be cut. Uh, oh, I must put it in front of that side. There it is. Okay. okay, now I don't know if you can see this. Uh -huh. These are the anthers. Okay. Uh, it, scrape the anthers out. And that's okay. where the pollen comes from. Okay. So what you then you do is you go open another flower and you get the and pollen. And then pull it in. And then you push it in. You must be down here. Okay. Not on top. Must be to the side. Okay. And then you then I just uh, I'll show you. Then I get the straw and then try to cover it up. Have I got one here? I should have the whole heap here somewhere. like that and I write on this what I've done okay and that's it and then okay. you know two weeks uh -huh. two weeks you can take this off uh -huh. and you'll see either that'll come off and you'll have a seed pot on okay or nothing oh.